Well, okay, come on. Come on, JP. Do something. Nope. Ooh, GG's. Oh, uh, with the RKO. Look at <laughs> with the ballet RKO. Yeah, guys talk about how zoners are so cheap and grapplers are hard to win with. Look at the CPU. The CPU smoking them. What is up, everybody? This is Justin Wong, and we're back with some more Street Fighter 6 footage. And guess what? We have a special treat for you. It's going to be uh, CPU level 7 Manon versus CPU level 7 JP. So if you want to see how these characters, two, these two new characters in the Street Fighter universe play, hit the like, share, subscribe, turn on the bell notification, and let's get into the video. CPU level 7, Grappler versus Zoner. This is a classic, classic thing. Let's see what, what would happen from Grappler versus Zoner. Manon already just going ham. Uh, that looks safe, actually. Look at that poke. That's a good stand me and punch. And then JP likes to throw these shards. These shards are actually really interesting because when I was like trying to figure out how to play JP, you can actually combo into those shards like you know like it's kind of like an anime character so if you like if you are big into like anime and creativity jp might be the character for you you can even do normal grab into the shard and get a combo from it that was just ham so that's kind of cool look at that and you have to respect that look at that like you saw how manon had to block after she even though she attacks uh oh, goes in the command grab get gets a meter right there hold up a second how did she get two how does she get two ready? Does she start with one automatically? So you just start. I didn't even know. Do you start with one automatically? Oh, you do start with one. Okay. I, I, I didn't know. I was like, you start with one automatically. Go to three right away. And how observe. Oh, this is shards there. No. So, okay. So if you hit JP, the shards do go away. That makes perfect sense. Oh, another command grab. Oh, look at the damage. One more. One, one more. And the crazy part about Monona is like she's interesting. She's actually a true grappler, meaning like she's not really big into like combos from what it seems like a lot of her like target combos. It's more of like that suction pull, like kind of like like it's like I think down heavy down down heavy punch down heavy punch. You, she brings you in. She has another thing with her mediums as well. She just brings you in, and then I think that just leads into a guess of like, okay, do I do the move again or do I go for a command grab? Uh, look at that oh get a combo right there knock down you could probably drive push in that situation oh hit him with the back of the cane throw the shard does he get a combo oh man that would have been cool oh oh that was kind of cool though nice neutral jump i think that was that's roundhouse that's like standing heavy kick medium medium punch target combo into ex right let's 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 watch it without pausing Ooh, 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 ooh. right so yeah. then if she, if they had shards there set up you can combo into shards and do the like and that move where he does like a little spike up that's just down down punch which is really interesting nice drive impact's definitely gonna be your best friend here level one super that level one super is kind of like it, it doesn't make sense right bro did she build three bars already okay exhausted mode and everything like that What's up, everybody? I know I'm interrupting your video, but I just need to give a big, huge shout out uh, to Infinite and Fahrenheit. If you guys don't know, they just released a Third Strike album, which pretty much pays homage to the Third Strike OST. Infinite, he, has, he was doing the voiceovers for Third Strike. He made some tracks also on Third Strike music. So you guys definitely know because Third Strike music is ridiculous. So they decided to team up. Those two, Fahrenheit and Infinite, decided to team up and just you know make some music make some new bangers so please hit the link down below in the description if you guys want to hear some tribute to third strike the music is ridiculous the music's awesome show them some love and other than that enjoy the rest of the video peace like manon hits hard like she hits hard like a truck yo drive impact drive impact might be jp's like weakness to be honest nice that's not true string so she perfect parry that but if you perfect parry with the new mechanic you could perfect parry into drive rush right and get like kind of a combo extension there mm, it's like no way okay jump medium kick is a cross up this is a hit grab as well too so that's a nice hit grab okay command grab ow oh that's a low Look at it, like he is getting mauled. I don't think JP has defensive maneuvers, actually. I guess JP's defensive actions are the universal actions like perfect parry or drive impact or drive reversal. But I don't remember if JP has like an invincible like DP, for example. 
Manon might not have one either, possibly. Who knows? But nice combo, five hit piece, throw the shards there. Oh, that's kind of that's kind of hurt. Like the fact that it just goes away. It makes sense that it goes away, but it would just be more threatening if it didn't. Uh, but like, even though JP is getting washed, like he's 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 very technical. He's good. His combos are good. His level two is ridiculous. That's what I think the level two super for JP is going to be where it's at. Even though his all his supers are really good. His level one is like a full screen, like kind of like fireball super. His level three is also full screen as well, too. So all three of his supers are actually very, very useful. I don't know if we'll see it. So we'll see. Nice stumble. Wow. Wow. Oh, that's you got all that from a late drive impact like wall splat, I guess, because that's a high wall splat. I don't know if that's like a situational combo because it's a higher wall splat, but that all comboed. Oh, take this command grab. Computer is our... Usually the AI is terrible against command grab characters. Nice crouch fierce. Okay, that's a good anti air Crouch fierce? That's a good button there. Oh, and she got she got the fifth grab too. Yeah, you see, I like it doesn't do that much damage. Obviously, the increases of the, of the grab range, you do more damage. And it doesn't go away. Like... Once you get the five, it just stays there forever. So it just keeps adding up. It doesn't go past five, though. Imagine it goes past five. EX, that's EX, bro. That EX command grab actually goes mad far. Because it's like kind of like a little dash. So if you drive rush into it, it's like so good. Oh my god. You know, I, I, I really do like Manon. Like, even though she is a grappler, I really do want to play her. Oh, you about to get bodied. Yeah, look at that. She knows. Look at the damage on that. Now she has five, so we'll see if she does another one. Nice parry there. Okay, jab. Little pressure. How absurd. The shard is nice, but it just... Too, uh, too bad it doesn't go, like, full screen. If it went full screen, that'd be ridiculous. Like, you gotta run away, man. Oh, that's the hit grab. Oh, even the hit grab uh, gives you more damage, too. That's crazy. So it's, it's not just a command grab. The hit, the combo bull hit grab definitely gives you as well, too, which is really nice. Okay, come on. Come on, JP. Do something. Nope. Ooh, GG's. Oh, uh, with the RKO. Look at <laughs> with the ballet RKO. Y'all guys talk about how zoners are so cheap and grapplers are hard to win with. Look at the CPU. CPU smoking him. So this is what Manon's going to be doing a lot in neutral where you whiff punish with like the suction normal, right? It's going to be like this. It's from the crotch fierce fierce. Boom, boom, right? And it brings you back in. And now you have to guess. You could do from hit. You could do a hit afterwards because you're plus here or you could go for a command grab attempt. So it's very like it's very grappler like. Obviously, JP jumped right here to avoid the command grab. But that these are the guesses you're going to have to do. That's a nice combo there. Good, like, 20%. Ooh, that was actually a cheap-ass setup. That's one of those setups that I don't know, like, what's the interaction like. Because, like, one, there's a shard there, right, to protect kind of, like, situations like that. Let's look. Let's watch that sequence again. Because that was an interesting setup. He throws the shards there, press a button, right, and then does drive impact here. Look at that. And then... I feel like if you counter here, I guess drive impact might beat everything like if Manon did drive impact, but it was so interesting how that looked because it's like it's good for setups. Uh, obviously, drive pair would just beat everything if you just hold it. Uh, but JP does have a command grab version of a projectile where he just does a command grab. So he could probably mix it up with that as well, too. So it's like a probably a super tight string. Gets the juggle right here. Doesn't get a super, but you could combo into the down down punch after that wall mounts. Um, obviously, super will work as well, too, because the super goes full screen. Nice. So that's an anti -air. Misses that. He's a how observe. I wonder if you could dry reversal. Regular grab. I wonder if you could dry reversal into a shard. Ideas. I'm getting ideas. Ideas are kind of flowing in my mind right now. Hmm. Manon. Level one super. Wait, is that was that counter hit? Does it just did it cause just like yeah? Look, so jump medium kick causes a soft knockdown state. So that means this is definitely a button where you can probably use for a juggle point and get a combo off of. I know if you have a shard, what if you have a shard out, you have access to a teleport. JP does not have a teleport if you do not have a shard out. So maybe that's usage for there because you could do air teleport to jump medium kick, 
make, make, reminds me of like Rose from Street Fighter Five, right? With kind of like you could just help her on, on top of the opponent and jump and jumping medium kick before Rose was actually a soft knockdown. What was that? Oh, that, was that Crouch Fierce? I don't, I don't think that was a special move. That looked like some sh That looked like some shit. Uh, how absurd. Yeah, don't just throw it out. Don't throw it out, bro. JP is getting smoked. Oh, no. Ooh. 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 Oh, uh, okay. That was the first drive rush combo we've seen. Let me see again. That was kind of sick. From start, from a jump in. Uh, uh, stand me and punch low strong into stand fierce into special move. That was sick. Okay, uh, season desist. Okay, standing heavy kick launches. That's I think that's stand light kick as well, too. Definitely not, definitely not safe on block. Look at that. There we go. See, I think that was the command grab attempt right there from JP. That stand me and punch is really good. It is special cancelable, I believe. Oh my god, that was dirty. Oh, uh, how observed. Oh my god. Mm, there we go, JP. Like, see, there you go. That was the teleport right there, right? Using the shard to teleport there. That was cool. You could probably do like cross up mix. Like, definitely has like Street Fighter 5 Rose, like V trigger shenanigans going on. Uh, that's level two. DP super. Oh, uh oh. The, the offense. You're getting mauled. What are you going to do? Why did crowd that grab didn't do no damage? Okay, regular grab. Bro, you need to do something. Wow, it took that long. The shard took that long to come. It didn't come at all. That was unfortunate. Oh, EX command grab. We building up that bar for EX command grab. Nice, perfect parry. Okay, stand meme kick, special cancelable. Drive impact. So that, okay, so I'm guessing the shard, maybe the, if the shard's facing the other way, it doesn't go, it doesn't home, it doesn't track, it just goes in the set direction. Oh, never mind. I'm stupid. It does track, I guess. It sort of tracks, maybe. I guess the range is, is there. But it, it definitely tracked. See, that's another of the, the suction move. Gets a regular grab. Nice reaction to the drive impact. Move a drive impact back. Build up that command grab. So I guess that's definitely your best punish is like you want to get for the command grab. Wow. Okay. Okay. AI. This is CPU level seven. So the, if you guys are wondering, we are not allowed to, to play CPU level eight when we were there. CPU level seven was the max. Good. Uh -huh. Nice. Stand strong. It's a special move. I really think that is the, the move you just throw out. You definitely just throw that move out, bro. JP, come on, man. Okay. Let me see what you got. EX. Okay. How absurd. I'm telling you, you could do more than that, but he is good zoning. You got to zone more with the down, down punches, down, down punches. Each strength obviously goes from like close to middle to far, right? Definitely. That's like the way Mano wins. Oh, she'd be like, obviously she'd be like this. There you have it. That was CPU level seven, Mano versus JP. Kind of a breakdown of what we went through. Uh, what do you guys think in the comments below? Who, who are you excited for? Are grapplers too broken in this game? Grapplers over zoners. Um, you know, big shouts to Capcom for letting us come in and play some Street Fighter Six and to show off to you know to the to the Twitterverse, YouTube verse, uh, social media verse, everything like that. This game is going to be exciting. Um, hit the like, share, subscribe, turn on the bell notification, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.